Okay, so very quickly, those are the measurements we took out. We have the waist 28, hip 39, the round thigh measurement 23, the waist to hip 8 inches, waist to knee 21, round knee 15, full length of 37. Now, there's a very vital measurement that is missing out there. Some people take the measurement, that's a crotch depth. Some people have to measure their clients to get that, but then I have a formula that works perfectly for that. And I'm gonna give you the crotch depth for a lady is her hip divided by four minus one inch, right? So in this case, it's gonna be 39 divided by 4. If you divide 39 by 4, we'll get 9 and 3 quarter. 9 and 3 quarter, right? And if you subtract 1 from that, you, you're going to get 8 and 3 quarter. That's just 3 all over 4, right? So that'll be the crotch for this lady, a fitted crotch. If you don't want it fitted, you can simply divide hip by four and don't subtract one from it. Especially for big ladies, fat ladies, you know, they need a little bit of extra allowance. So you just divide your hip by four. No need to subtract one. Else, that is the formula, minus one. So quickly, I'll teach you how to draft this directly on your fabric. And if you're the type that uses pattern, you know the difference is just in the allowance. You're not going to add allowance. So let's assume we have the edge of our fabric this way, right? And the base, right? From the open edge, you know, this should be like the, the savage. It should be the savage. So what you want to do is just to give one inch away from that edge. One inch will be enough. So just give one inch away from that edge. And then you're going to start your drafting. The very first thing you want to do after giving this one inch, give in your folding in allowance at the base that you're going to use at the base of the trouser, right? So let's have that about 2.5 inches or two inches. So from there, you're going to measure the full length of the trouser minus one inch. Now we are making a draft for a trouser that is going to have an additional waistband. So a standard band is about 1.5 inches. And for you to get that, you're going to subtract one inch from the full length of the trouser. Now when I say the standard band is 1.5 inches. The, the, one, the half inch left on the trouser is for the same allowance that you use to join the band to the trouser. So even if you are cutting out a band of 1.5 inches, you're not going to subtract 1.5 from your trouser. No, you're going to subtract one. Half inch less than the height of the band. So for a full length of 37, I'm going to mark out 36 quickly. This 36, straight one there. And Placing my tape on 37, my tape will rise one inch above that line and that is how it should be. You hold your tape that way, making sure your 37 is at this short, two inch or 2.5 inch allowance there. And you're going to mark the waist to hip and also the waist to knee, we said 21 inches. Right? So if you've done that, you're going to divide your hip by four. And we say 39 divided by four is nine and three quarter. So we're going to have that here. This is nine and three quarter. I'm marking from the one inch allowance inside. I'm not touching anything inside this block here. This one inch allowance, no. So from this point, you're going to mark in. And we have nine and three quarter also here. And you're going to join those points together. Take it down straight, right? Sorry, I'm using freehand. You can use your, your squares and your instrument when you're drafting this on your fabric. 
So if you've gotten that, this is the trouser block. This is the basic block. This is very important for this method of trousers, right? So the next thing we'll do is to divide this point, this nine and three quarter by two to get our plumb line. Very much important, the plumb line. So you're going to divide this, just find the middle of this, divide your nine and three quarter by two and you get the middle point of this, right? And you take it down straight. Now this line is very much important for us. So you have it this way and now you can start your drafting. And we said the this this becomes our hip line. This is the waist, this is the knee, and that's the full length line. So we'll quickly whatever measurements we are taking, you know, the waist we divide by four, the hip we're gonna divide by four, why knee and ankle we're dividing by two and the reason is not far fetched if you check this trouser i'm putting on you see that four pieces mix up the waist and the hip this is one two three and four why from the tie down is just two pieces here and here so up here we divide by four down here we divide by two so a waist of 28 divided by four is seven right so that seven i'm going to centralize on this plumb line this middle line here we just made is called the plumb line it's very important so that seven i'm going to centralize on this line so it's going to be three and a half on this point of the line and three and a half on the other point that gives us seven now please do without allowance so the 14 i'm just the, the seven i'm just placing it directly there without allowance we're going to add allowance later and for the hip we already have it divided by four correctly here which is nine and three quarter and then you come to your knee we said round knee is 15 inches divided by two is seven and a half so our seven and a half we're going to mark it here that is three and three quarter on one side three and three quarter on the other side right and to the to the ankle there we will want to use okay let's say an ankle of 13 round ankle 13 divided by 2 is 6.5 so we're going to have three and a quarter here and another one here right so this is our waistline we can join those points the waist to the hip at this point and the waist to the hip at this point right and we can join the knee to the ankle sorry i'm using freehand and also at this point but then there's something left here which is the crotch depth that we calculated and we arrive at eight and three quarter before you apply the crotch depth you know the, the human waist at the front is not straight so you're going to slant it by at least one inch so you come to this point, you mark one inch down and let's give it a nice slant that way. Now it's from that slant you measure your crotch depth, right? So we said eight and three quarter and putting it here, this is eight and three quarter, right? So that's the crotch depth. And it's on that crotch depth line, you take your tie measurement, right? You take your time measurement or you step down by one inch and take your and take your time measurement it's all the same there's no difference so if i want to take my time measurement on that crotch depth line this dotted line i made here we said the round tie is 23 and we said we are dividing by two so divided by two is 11.5 now for the tie you're going to mark out the tie right from this edge here unlike the others that we centralize on the plumb line you know the tie will be bigger than this block it's going to extend outside this block so you can't centralize it within this block so you measure your tie from this edge here down there so what we have for tie is 11.5 and this is it here so you can join this point now with a nice curve to get your crotch and you join your tie to your knee right and then your tie here to your knee here 
and if you have done that you have accurately draft the front block of your trousers.